What's up guys, Mike here, and last year I made a video on why I thought Luka Doncic could potentially be the greatest player of all time. Now, of course, when I posted that video, a lot of the comments thought that that opinion was kind of a stretch. And at the time, I did understand that because, of course, saying someone is going to be better than Michael Jordan and LeBron James is always going to be considered an out there statement. However, I think we can all agree that this season, Luka Doncic has been unreal. If anything, he has more than surpassed the expectations expectations that I had for him. I'm sure he surpassed your expectations too. I mean, who thought the man was going to be averaging a near 30 point triple double? He's 20 years old. So yeah, after dominant Luka performance, after dominant Luka performance, I finally said, now is the time we have to talk about this man again. Before we jump in guys though, I do want to say if you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. It has been helping a ton lately. You guys have been killing it. And with that said, let's get into the video. Now let's be clear here. Luka obviously has a long way to go in terms of passing Michael Jordan or LeBron James. However, when it does come down to it, Luka is doing things no 20 year old has ever done. The fact of the matter is he is averaging a near 30 point triple double and is already a legitimate MVP candidate. And if you think that statement is out there, well, think again, because after his victory over James Harden and the Houston Rockets, Luka's MVP odds are now better than LeBron James. DraftKings has his MVP odds at four to one compared to LeBron's odds of seven to one. And at FanDuel, he is at plus 460, just ahead of James Harden's plus 430. And to me, this makes perfect sense. Luka has led Dallas to the current four seed in the Western Conference, despite not really having any star or borderline star pieces, except for Porzingis. The man also has Magic Johnson showing him major respect. As you can see by this tweet, where he ranks Luka as his second MVP candidate. And let's just not forget here, Luka Doncic is just 20 years old. He can currently not even legally drink in the United United States. So with this said, obviously expectations have become incredibly high. I mean, when you're 20 and already averaging a near 30 point triple double, people are going to start projecting you as one of the NBA's all time greats. That is a lot of pressure. But when Luca was asked about this pressure and the pressure of replacing Dirk Nowitzki recently, he was quoted as saying, I had pressure since I was 16. So I like pressure. That is an alpha dog. That is exactly what I want to hear from a player who could potentially become an all-time great. And looking back at last season, I think we all can agree that Luka did have an incredible rookie year. He was the NBA's rookie of the year. However, he actually did not play as well as he could have because he had played so much in Europe that the Dallas Mavericks basically asked him not to push himself too much and just relax that summer. That was not the case this summer as Luka put on some serious muscle. Before we continue, guys, I do want to say thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you don't know what SeatGeek is, it's basically an app that takes all of the best ticket prices from around the internet and puts them all in one place on their app for you guys to get the best deal. And the cool thing is it's very easy to see what the best deal is because SeatGeek scores every single ticket on a scale from zero to 100 so you can get the best deal. Also, when you click on the ticket you might wanna buy, SeatGeek gives you a preview of the seats that you might be sitting in so you can get an idea of the experience you might have and then then base what tickets you want to buy based on that zero to 100 scale and the preview. Which means guys, if you want the best tickets for the best prices, download SeatGeek right now and use the promo code 2KMike for $20 off your first order. The link will also be in the description. And for now, let's continue with the video. Teammate Maxi Kleber even said, I was actually impressed by what he was squatting. It is this overall strength and core strength that has allowed Luka to adjust to the physicality of the NBA. Now he is clearly way better at absorbing contact and around the rim and just doesn't seem to mind when NBA defenders attempt to body. Now, moving even forward here, again, this is not an exaggeration. Luka is currently on the way to have the best season by a 20-year-old of all time. He is averaging an insane 30.6 points, 10.1 rebounds, 9.8 assists, and is shooting 62% from inside the three-point line. These stats have given him a league-high 33.3 PER and going even further, here, if Luca were to finish with that 33 PER, he would set the all time NBA record for PER in a single season over Wilt Chamberlain, LeBron, Michael Jordan. You can name any player you want. Luca is currently beating them all because of this and because of his play style. Of course, the LeBron and Luca comparisons have been soaring at a ridiculous rate. And I would say earlier this month on November 1st, when playing against King James, Luca's a 
initiation to stardom went down as LeBron and Luka had perhaps the most impressive duel of this current NBA season. This game was the perfect example of why Luka is drawing LeBron James comparisons as Luka would finish the night with 31 points, 15 assists, and 13 rebounds. LeBron, not trying to be outdone, would finish with 39 points, 16 assists, and 12 rebounds, making this the first time in NBA history that two opponents have topped 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 15 assists in a single game against each other. Honestly, at this point, I just have to say that it just seems like whenever Luka is stepping foot on the court, special things are happening, historic things are happening. And sure, the Lakers would end up winning this game as Danny Green would connect on a very clutch three from a pass from LeBron James. However, Luka did make his own clutch play down the stretch and obviously more than earned the respect of LeBron. As LeBron would tell Doris Burke after the game, his ability to make plays not only for himself, for his teammates to rebound and just play for the pure love of the game, um, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Now, to me, statements like this are just very telling because LeBron was just going to battle against Luka but he still felt the need to praise him. From what I've always seen with NBA legends past or present, it's kind of like there is an NBA legends club. And when a young player seems to be on the verge of joining that club, you can bet that former legends are going to have a lot to say about that player. And that is exactly what is happening here. And really, when we look at it, none of this should come as any surprise. Because in terms of Luka Doncic's background, the love of basketball was always in his blood. The first time he touched of basketball was at seven months old and it has been said that he was already regularly playing on a miniature basketball hoop at the age of one. Moving on from there, Luca would sign his first professional contract with Real Madrid at the age of 13. This contract actually locked Luca up with Real Madrid for five years and if you're wondering why Real Madrid was so confident in him, well in April of 2012, Doncic was still playing in Slovenia when in the championship game of an under 13 tournament, he put up 50 54 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists. And of course, if there was any doubt there, yes, he did win the MVP of the tournament. And yes, it was this moment that everyone became convinced that he was Europe's future basketball phenom. I mean, I expected Luka to have a great career. I thought he was going to be a very, very good player, and I thought he had MVP potential in him. But right now, he is seriously on pace to pass LeBron James as an NBA player. Of course, I understand the argument argument that LeBron has played forever and that Luka is just in his second season. I know injuries can happen. I know all of that. Still though, currently Luka is averaging more assists a game than LeBron has done in any season of his career. His 10.1 rebounds per game are 1.5 higher than LeBron's career high. His 62.3% two-point shooting percentage is better than LeBron's career high of 62.2 for the 2014 Miami Heat when LeBron was in his physical prime and Luka's 81.7% field goal percentage is higher than LeBron's career high of 77.1. And looking at this current Dallas Mavericks roster, again, in my opinion, this is a very similar situation to the 2007 Cleveland Cavaliers. Because in 2007, LeBron carried a Cavaliers team that was not that talented all the way to the NBA Finals. And yes, Luka does have Kristaps Porzingis, a player with more talent than any player LeBron had at the time. However, the current Dallas Mavericks roster is just flat out not good. If Luka Doncic was on their team, they would have absolutely no chance of being in the playoffs. In fact, they would be one of the worst teams in the NBA. Instead, because of Luka, Dallas has not only shown this season that they can compete with the best teams in the NBA, but they've shown that they can beat them. And because LeBron's Lakers are currently the one seed with Dallas sitting as the four seed, a Western Conference semifinals matchup could happen between the two. I know it is very early, but I would love to see a Luka versus LeBron playoff series. Please Please, basketball gods, make that happen. There we have it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, remember, leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Today's a little weird because I'm posting on Monday, and I'm actually going to be posting on Wednesday next. But usually, the schedule here is posting videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So make sure you subscribe so you do not miss a video and turn notifications on. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day. And you that music. By the way, if you're still here while the music is cute, here are two videos I think you are going to love watching. All you have to do is just click on either one of them on the screen right here. And other than that, guys, again, have a great day and peace.